Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how I color grade my videos that are shoot in D-Log profile. Note, this is not professional color grading tutorial. I'm just showing you how I color grade my edits, cause too many of you asked me on Instagram and in your case you can use any LUT and color correct your videos that you will be more comfortable with. Let's begin. First of all let me show you where to get the official DJI Osmo LUT. Check this video's description, I will leave a link there. In my case I use Windows, so let's click on Windows and download the cube file. In After Effects I will apply Lumetri color effect on my video and then let's expand creative and import the cube here. As you see it's applied, but it's not great looking and it needs a little bit more of retouch. First what I'm going to do is, I will bump up sharpen to 30. Why so much sharpness? Because when we upload videos on Instagram, it compresses our videos too much. The video gets blurry and the quality drops too. So sharpening your video helps you to keep the quality high and avoids from blurriness on Instagram when it compresses down your clips too much. If you want a full tutorial on how to upload high quality reels on Instagram, check this video's description. I will leave a tutorial link there. Now let's continue, I won't make any changes here anymore, we can close creative and then expand basic correction. I will slightly bump up the exposure, cause I think the car is too dark here. Maybe let's bump up contrast too. Also a highlights. I will bump up shadows and whites as well. And I will decrease blacks just a little bit to avoid a fade look in my video. I think contrast is too much here, I will decrease it a bit. Note, this values are for a while, I will come back here one more time after I will adjust the curves. Let's expand curves now. Under RGB curve I will create three points. One for a shadows, one for a midtones and one for a highlights. Let's slightly move shadows down a bit to make the video darker. I don't know how about you, but I really enjoy dark videos, so I always try to keep my edits as dark as possible. Let's slightly move up midtones and then I will decrease highlights a bit. This looks fine, but I will adjust it more a bit later. Now let's scroll down to hue versus hue and click on eyedropper tool and then let's select the sky. I will drag that middle point a bit up, note, do not overuse these points, always make a slight changes. Now scroll up a bit to a hue versus sat and click on eyedropper tool and select the sky again. I will move middle point up a bit to add a saturation on a sky. I think it looks pretty fine to me. Let's select eyedropper tool again and select greens in the video. I will bump up green as well. Under a hue versus hue select an eyedropper tool and then let's select green in the video. I will bump up greens just a little bit. I think that looks fine to me. So now let's scroll up to basic correction and as I said we will need to readjust lights one more time. I will quickly change contrast, blacks and whites. I think it looks better, let me show you before and after. I will slightly bump up temperature to add warm colors, then let's scroll all the way down and expand vignette. Make sure active is checked and then I will bring down amount to add vignette. I like to leave midpoint close to 50, I find it fine to me. I will bump up feather to 100 and slightly bump up roundness. I will set midpoint to 50 and then let's scroll up to hue versus luma. Let's select an eyedropper tool and select the sky. Now I will bring down that middle point to make the sky darker and fit my foreground. Let's select one more time and then grab an orange colors in the video. I will bump up orange just a little bit to make them brighter. Maybe let's select dark green now and bump it up as well. Now let's scroll up to basic corrections and if we need to adjust the image, we can control everything right from here, or scroll down to RGB curve and control the image with that curve until it will look better. So that's my steps of color grading, nothing special and nothing hard. Let me show you before and after color grading. I am happy with it. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.